Hey, I'm James Vincent, one of the piano teachers of Vincent Music. I'm going to be taking you through a wild chase on the piano, doing a piano tutorial on this one from grade one. Um, as the name indicates, it's a song, it's a piece of music about a wild chase. I'll play this for you first. Break it down a little bit. sections they've, they've indicated is probably the best advice but I you could do it very carefully if you, if you use it sporadically at um, like a particular beats a little bit of color it should be every every beat every dotted crotch of beat here which brings us to the time signature six eight compound time it means two beats in the bar, so you're counting two dotted crotch of beats. One, two, one, two, one. Um, you get the idea. Two counts. A bar, every beat's divided into three, uh, which is what compound time is. Um, six, eight is two crotch of beats per bar, not six quaver beats per bar, as some people say. Um, so yeah, you've got basic hand positions to memorise. I'd, I'd be working on like an A minor left hand and an F position on the right, in that first section. And then it moves to a sort of a, a D position and an A minor position on the right and a D position on the left. Plus you can do one, you can probably do two. satisfying thing to, to accomplish. Middle section, uh, bar nine, is when the pedal comes and you're jumping around to new chord positions. So it was a D minor chord position on the left, then to an A minor, then to an E, back to A minor again. Bit of a twist here, B flat. Basically a ternary form of the coda. Um, and as you go through this ending here, it takes a bit of care from bar 25 to the end. You get that sounding how you want, the rallentandos there, bar 25, and the diminuendo. So you're getting gradually getting slower and yet gradually getting soft, quieter at the same time. It can be very tempting to speed up and get louder and do all sorts of stuff. You don't want to do that. You just want to gradually slow down. Let's try a little bit of over dramatic. And then give them it all at the end. Yeah. And again, um, be careful to use finger action here. Um, direct finger contact, bone finger contact to the key. Uh, trying to roll your hand so you can get that very distinct as well as the speed you want that distinct sound well from your fingers am i the right octave there yes i am um, super fun um super dramatic at the end uh this piece is in a minor uh by rossi winan rossi so it's a very modern piece and um, I guess it's good times to explore uh, the A melodic minor. A lot of this is in the A harmonic. If you know your A harmonic minor as just the G sharp, uh, what gets brought in here occasionally is those F sharps, so like in bar 19, a 
live in. You can explore what is an aharmonic minor, I should say. Melodic minor raises the sixth as well as the seventh, which is already raised, depends on how you want to explain it. But that's why the red sharp's uh, introduced, because it can be included in the, the group of minor keys, minor scales there. As for that B flat, that's just being created and it doesn't really belong in that key, but it's really makes for some interesting writing. Um, and uh, yeah, another one involving two clefs, so sometimes there's two bass clefs like on the first line. And other times there's two treble clefs like on the second line. And at first you might find that a little um, uh, just crazy looking, and when you, when, you realize, when you crack the code, crack the pattern, it's dead easy, you just move it on up there. Um, but there you have it, there's a quick tutorial on uh, a wild chase. I hope that was helpful and catch you next time.